We want to find an equation of a polynomial function with real coefficients having zeros positive 3, negative 1, and 4 plus 2i. Notice how we're given one complex zero of the polynomial function, but complex zeros always come in conjugate pairs, meaning in the form of a plus or minus bi. So if we know 4 plus 2i is a zero of the function, then 4 minus 2i must also be a zero of the function. So we know our polynomial function has one, two, three, four zeros, therefore we're going to find a degree four polynomial function. Next, knowing the zeros of a polynomial function gives us information about the factors of the polynomial function. A polynomial function f of x must contain binomial factors in the form of x minus the given zeros. So if we have a zero of positive three, the function must contain a factor of x minus three. If we have a zero of negative one, we must have a factor of x minus negative one, which simplifies to x plus one. If one of the zeros is four plus two i, one factor must be x minus the complex number four plus two i. And if we have a complex zero of four minus two i, one of the factors must be x minus four minus two i. Now let's take a look at these factors that contain the complex numbers. We could leave it in this form, but I think it's gonna be easier to keep track of the signs if we clear these parentheses here and here by distributing this minus sign, or we can think of distributing a negative one. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'd have f of x equals the quantity x minus three times the quantity x plus one times the quantity, this will be x minus four minus two i. And then here we're going to have x minus four and then negative one times negative two i is positive two i. So we'll have minus four plus two i. Now we still need to find this product to do this, we only multiply two at a time. So we're gonna multiply these two. Then we're gonna multiply these two. And then find the product of these products. So we'll have f of x equals, so we'll have x times x or x squared. Then we'll have x times one, that's one x. And then negative three times x, that's negative three x. One plus negative three x is negative two x or minus two x. Then we have negative three times one, it's negative three or minus three. This is the product of these two binomial factors, and now we'll find the product of these two. Because there are three terms here and three terms here, we'll have nine products. So x times x is x squared. x times negative four minus four x. x times positive two i, that's plus two xi. Negative four times x minus four x. Negative four times negative four, that's plus 16. Negative four times positive two i, that's minus eight i. Now we have negative two i times x, that's minus two x i. Negative two i times negative four, that's plus eight i. And then finally we have negative two i times positive two i, that's minus four i squared. Now we want to simplify this. Notice how here we have plus two x i minus two x i, that's zero. Here we have minus eight i plus eight i, that's zero. And now we need to combine the like terms. So we have f of x equals the quantity x squared minus two x minus three. The second factor is going to be x squared then we have negative four x minus four x, that's negative eight x or minus eight x. Then we have 16 minus four i squared, 
But remember, i squared is equal to negative one. So this is negative four times negative one. That's positive four. Sixteen plus four is positive twenty. So we have plus twenty. And now we need to find this product. So again, we have three terms here and three terms here. We'll have nine products. So we'll have f of x equals, we'll start by distributing the x squared into the second trinomial. So of x squared times x squared, that's x to the fourth. x squared times negative eight x, that's gonna be negative eight x cubed or minus eight x cubed. x squared times twenty, that's plus twenty x squared. Now we'll distribute the negative two x. Negative two x times x squared, that's gonna be minus two x cubed. Negative two x times negative eight x, that's plus sixteen x squared. Negative two x times positive twenty, that's minus forty x. Now we need to finish by distributing the negative three. Negative three times x squared, minus three x squared negative three x times negative eight x, that's plus twenty four x. And negative three times positive twenty, that's minus sixty. The last step here is to combine like terms and write everything in descending order. So we have x to the fourth, and then we have a negative eight x cubed, negative two x cubed, so we have minus ten x cubed, And we have twenty x squared plus sixteen x squared minus three x squared. So that's gonna be thirty six x squared minus three x squared. That's gonna be plus thirty three x squared. Then we have negative forty x plus twenty four x. That's gonna be negative sixteen x or minus sixteen x. Then we have minus sixty. this polynomial function would have these zeros given above. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.